Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Jack here. Um, today I'm going to show you um, with Nami's passive some stuff that you didn't know. You, you actually probably did know, but I'm um, just a retard who didn't know and I found it really, really cool. But um, as you can see, Nami's passive, it, um, when your ability hits an ally champion or yourself, uh, you get plus 40 movement speed. Now, uh, everyone knows that you E, yeah, plus 45 movement speed, so that went up, to, jumped up to 417, and that's obvious. You W, same thing, 417, and that's usually what about all people know. But what you probably didn't know is that you Q, 417, it jumps up, and that could be used in multiple ways. To say you're too far away to uh, um, use your bubble on a champion and your ally champions following them, just fucking cue them. And they're just, what? they're often racing and shit. And um, also, your ult. So, um, I don't know if it's going to work myself. You know what? I'm going to go down to um, my little any bot because I have no friends to help me with my videos, even though it's my various League of Legends video. <sighs> God, sad world. But, here we go. Come here, Annie. Alright. So, yeah, let's look at movement speed. 335. Going to 375. But, um, the ability to, you, um, the movement speed doesn't stack, so if I E and W, it only stays at 375, it doesn't jump up enough for 40. But my ult, uh, a lot of people didn't know this either, is, um, if I throw it through an ally champion, the movement speed goes higher as well. This could, that could help in so many ways. And, um, if you do it right, you can have about 6 seconds of, um, um, 6 seconds of... Movement speed plus 40 movement speed. So we go to E, W, Q, and then we could alt and have a lot of movement speed. People, well, thank you for watching my bloody video. I like it. I like it how you watch my video. But uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, this is my first League of Legends video, and um. Yeah, what up? Subscribe. How do I end this shit?